Special needs can be very challenging for parents. So a group of families, educators and therapists all working together in Tampa to build their own. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd has an update on their progress. Well, this here is Bry. He is part of the inaugural class of students to be welcomed with open arms into the brand new Evolve School of Learning. Administrative office, the principal's office, super important. Lindsay Meyer, April Hurley, and their therapy dog, Tully, are counting down the days until their new school opens in August. We plan to have anywhere from 45 to 60 to maybe even 70 kiddos. It really depends on the needs of those kids. Many of these students have already been coming to see Lindsay in April for years at their one-on-one -on -one therapy center, Bridging the Gap. It was life-changing. When he started, he had no words at all, totally nonverbal, um, and now he's telling me good night mama every night. There is not one person that I've met that has worked for Lindsay and April that does not treat my son like a person. He's not overlooked, he's not um, looked at as a problem. So when these parents started asking Lindsay and April to open up a whole special needs school, it was impossible for them to say no. A moment hit where it just, things weren't aligning for other opportunities for these kids and we just looked at each other. All right, yes, we're doing this now. We're starting a school. It's just the rewarding aspect of, of you know, hearing their celebrations at home um, that fulfills us. Let's go back to our seat. Good job. Families and therapists even started their own nonprofit, the Evolve Foundation, to raise money to help build the school. It's, it's helpful that we have some place to go, that we know people are going through the same things that we are. It's a real community, a real network. It is. And the students even sent pictures to Taylor Swift asking her to shake off a little help. Maybe she'll give us a shout out at her concerts in Tampa. Um, really any word from her would raise a lot of attention. In Tampa, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.